it's probably been caught a few bees in here still. Nice breed pattern. Well, I didn't think this hive was super strong, but I was wrong. Those bees have moved up to the top. And we've got them on the entrance. It's the uh, 19th of March. Got a box here from, let's see, I think it came from Utah. Utah Warehouse in Orem, Utah. My wife is from Utah and I went to BYU, so that's not far from there. I uh, ordered some Guardian bee apparel to try it out here. I ordered a round veil and two jackets. This one is a standard jacket right here. And this one is a pullover, I think, yeah. And these gloves are supposed to be really good. I think Terry, I talked with the owner of the company, Terry Chapman, he told me these gloves are really good. He said they're, I think he said they got five layers of protection. So my concern is over the back of the hand right here and how well they'll work when you close your hand and so forth. But my goal today, I'm gonna go down. I've got some hives at a friend's house, just not far from where I live here and uh, haven't been in these hives, haven't been through them in a while. I imagine they are just absolutely boiling with bees. I hope they haven't swarmed. Then I probably for sure need to add some boxes to them. There's one nuke and then two full strength hives down there. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but we're about to go see. I uh, just thought I'd gonna try out, which one should I try out? I think I'm just gonna try out the pullover today. Um, I typically prefer to wear a round veil. If you watch most of my videos, you'll see that. But I'm not actually anti-fencing veil. I just like the round veil because I can see better and everything and it's more comfortable to me. But today I think I'm gonna try the pullover jacket from Guardian Bee Apparel. These are supposedly very high quality jackets and uh, we'll see how we do. All right, getting this jacket on from Guardian. I'll try this thing out. It looks really thick and really nice so far. I didn't get the pullover though. I actually got the zip up when I grabbed the wrong one. But uh, <laughs> we're about to check out some bees here. All right, let's get to work. Now these are the three hives down here at my friend's house. Not just a few, just a little ways from where I live in, this, in town. It's kind of right on the edge of the neighborhood. A little bit of a better um, situation here. I have no idea how these bees are doing. I think they're probably doing really well. Bees everywhere seem to be doing really well. It's probably been, been a few weeks since I got in them. And um, look at them putting honey in there. Let's pull one of these frames out and check it out. So not a ton of bees, but they're putting nectar in there. And uh, I don't know if they swarmed them out. There's not as many bees as I anticipated. Let's just take a peek one box down. Let's take out some breed down in there. I'm gonna actually set this box off here. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, we got plenty of bees in here now going down this level. I'm going to be very gentle, try and get this, it's not the outside frame, I know, but the last time I was down here was when I treated last, and I don't even know when that was. Yeah, there we go, we got a good number of bees here. It's kind of spotty brood. I'm kind of under the impression that maybe these bees, maybe they're swarmed or super seared their queen. I expect to see more population in here. see yeah they're doing okay some people will tell you that if you see some spots in the breed like that it's because they're hygienic bees and they're cleaning out the cells these cells that are that have mites or that are not really healthy cells i don't know like, that makes sense to me i guess but there's a queen cell down there 
Yeah, it looks like they're building. Maybe some queen cells, maybe some stuff. Over here, looks like that's kind of an older cell that I destroyed. I'm just not gonna, I'm gonna add a little space in here and just hope that they go ahead and, I'm not seeing any really functional full-size queen cells that look like they're gonna really make much of anything. If I don't see eggs, then I'm, I'll be willing to bet that we got some virgin queen in here. And I'm not gonna keep it up for very long. I'm just gonna pretty much, after I pull this frame out, look for eggs. You know what? It's really too dark out here to see very well. But I'm almost 100% sure I see eggs in there. I'm gonna bet we got us a new queen in this hive. I hope so. We'll, we'll kind of track it, see how it does. I'll follow it. So what I'm gonna do with this hive, I'll put that medium back on there, and uh, then I'm gonna put at least one honey super on there. So they're packing nectar in that one. All right, these hives down here usually do really well. And those woods down there, there's all kinds of good stuff for bees. And they usually, I've gotten a lot of honey off these three hives down here. That one over there is obviously a nuke. I think that hive really condensed down last year and I put it in a nuke. I think that's what happened. I don't think I brought a split down here last year. Of course, I've seen done so much, I can't remember everything, but I think we got us a similar story with this hive, actually. It's about the same to me. There's some nectar going in there, I think. Just a quick glance. We're on the verge of honey flow here really for the next couple of months. And uh, that little brood up here. I'm really gonna let these bees, I treated for mites in these bees in the two deep, in the double deeps and medium. So probably just gonna let them keep this third box as a, don't see an egg in there, I don't think. We're definitely starting to put a little nectar in these boxes up here though, which means that there's a flow going on around the edges to the nectar. See any queen cells on that frame. Lots of bees down in there. I think I'm gonna do the same thing with this one I did with that one over there. Just stack a box or two, honey box or two on there and just let them do their thing. I don't think they'll swarm, hopefully they won't. They may have already swarmed, but I kinda of doubt it because there is a pretty good population of bees in here. I think I'm probably gonna, if there's a lot of bees in here, there were before, if this hive does not have a lot of bees in it, then they probably have swarmed. Because last time I was down here, it was packed. It looks like they're building the comb out to the edges. My guess is there's some honey on the outside. Yeah, I think they've swarmed. There's not as near as many bees in there as there have been, I don't think. But I'm gonna go ahead probably and put them in a 10 frame box. It's the time of the year, I think they'll be okay doing that. I don't know how long it's been since I've been through this nuke. I mean, it's been a long time. Hard to get that darn thing out. Ooh, careful, I don't roll the bees. All right, so, yes, yeah, so they've got brood on this outside frame too. And there's a queen cell right there. Now built on that part of the frame, my guess is it's a super seizure cell. There's one on the bottom. I think they swarmed. I'm gonna go ahead and get a, uh, a 10 frame box and put them in there and leave at least one or two cells in here in case they've swarmed, in case these uh, queens hatch and hopefully we'll get a new queen out of it and a nice new nuke. Okay, we're gonna try this camera angle this time. I've already put the frame in here that we took out a minute ago a few minutes ago. It's a queen cell in the bottom corner. It kind of uh, damaged the queen cell up here. So I went ahead and just eliminated it. Now this time of year with a good flow going, I found it works good. This, the nights are warm enough. I just kind of checkerboard these frames in here. Some people will tell you that's not the way to do it. and uh, But it's worked for me over the years. I'm just going to alternate these frames in here. We'll peek at the frames as we go through. 
Looks like there's quite a few bees in here still. Nice brood pattern. Honey in the top, up in this area, right up in here, there's some honey, nectar. I don't know if you can see it or not. And uh, these bees just, they do, they just simply need more space. I'll tell you, I'm loving this Guardian jacket. I haven't taken any stings to the hands yet, and uh, not that I can't, you know, with our leather. Um, gloves are a little big for me, but that's okay. Um, I'd rather have them a little too big than too small. Yeah, this hive needs to be put in a bigger box because they're starting to backfill. There's three more queen cells right there. I should do a split. But one cell here. One, two, three. That one is hatched. Let me show you what that looks like. So we probably got us a virgin queen in here. See that cell right there in the middle of the screen? The queen has emerged from that one. So what I'm gonna do, and if I just, if I really wanted to split them and put cells in them and everything, I might do that. But I kinda want these bees just to grow into this hive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and probably pick out these queen cells. I'm afraid I'm gonna, I might leave one or two in here in case that queen doesn't get mated and if they hatch but if you have too many queen cells you might have a bunch of swarms that happen and right up there definitely don't want that to happen so this is probably i mean like i say i'm not saying this is the right way to do it or the wrong way to do it but it's what i'm doing today and it's really my fault for not getting these bees in a bigger box sooner this time of the year, they pretty much really need to be in a bigger box. And I've just been, have neglected these bees down here because I've had so much going on in other places. Look at that frame of brood right there though. Beautiful. Hopefully we got a queen in here. And if not, I'm leaving a cell or two. So we can hatch one out. I'm sure can get mated. My guess is if I get a chance and come down here in the next few days, these frames will mostly be drawn out. These, white, white, these uh, frame foundation, lots of pollen on that frame, little honey up top. They're gonna be able to pull, pull these frames out to draw them out and they're gonna be able just to explode. So I haven't really looked for the queen too closely. I'm convinced there's a virgin queen in there or a newly mated queen. And these bees will be able to get busy down at this comb, provide the, the new queen a place to lay. I didn't really see any eggs because my guess is this queen is in there and she's either in the process of getting mated or she's being mated, but there's really no problem for her to lay. So, situation with these bees in this box, what I'm going to do. May not be able, probably won't be able to see this too good on the camera. I'm gonna bump the corner of the box. What that'll do is it'll knock the bees down to the bottom, and I'm just gonna dump them into the hive here. So, dump them like that, and I'm dump them in. Now, then I'm gonna set this box over here, off the side over there. And if you smoke them a little bit, they'll just run down into the hive. A lot of the bees are fanning. I think they're recognizing this already as their new home. It's amazing how fast they adapt. Really impressed once again with this Guardian Bee Apparel. It seems like it's really well built. The jacket is very heavy duty, lots of pockets. Um, never had Ultra Breeze, but I think this jacket, I don't know how it could be a whole lot better than this. One of the cool features about these Guardian jackets is this uh, veil. I haven't tried this, my first time trying it. It opens up. So if you want to get a drink of water or just wipe your face off or whatever, you can do that without having to take the jacket off. And um, it's hard to do all this with one hand. And then when you're done, you can just zip it back up, which I can't, I'm not gonna be able to do that with one hand. Anyway, 
I think it's a pretty cool jacket. I'm really excited to have it. Well, so far I recommend it. It's got a nice uh, screen here on the veil, and I think it's gonna do me good. Well, I didn't think this hive was super strong, but I was wrong. Those bees have moved up to the top. And look at them on the entrance. So I guess they were kind of in the middle of the hive when I kind of peeked in it earlier. A lot of bees. They must a lot of, there must have been a lot of them in that bottom box. Look at all those bees. So I'm gonna put two boxes on top of this hive. Probably two on each of these, two honey boxes, two mediums. And uh, just let them do their thing. I think they'll fill those up quite quickly. I've got two boxes stacked on each of these. When I put this first box on right here, they ran up in there quickly, and you can see they're already coming up into the second one. It's only been a couple of, uh, maybe just a very few minutes, and the bees are already checking out this grown out comb. So I'm looking forward to big things from these hives, and I think that one over there is gonna grow quickly too, assuming they have a queen. I just dumped a few more bees on the ground out of that box, out of that nuke, and uh, they should fly in there. They should go in there. Make sure I don't see a queen down here. No, I don't see one. They're just a little hesitant to go in, but they're going in there. The palace will be coming in very soon, like any any time now. I think the tentative time is maybe tomorrow morning early. So I'll be spending a lot of time fooling with those, trying to get them set up, get them ready to go, get them split or whatever I need to do. I think these bees are gonna fill these honey boxes up and hopefully get us a good harvest off of them. Thanks for watching Bruce's Bees. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. On to the next video.